Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of comparing and ordering decimals. This is standard 5.2b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 31 of the 2024 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we need to show comparisons here, and it looks like we are just using this greater than sign again and again and again in all of our lists. So if we're going to use this greater than sign, it means the first one is greater than the next one, greater than the next one, greater than the next one. So really, this is just one way of showing you greatest to least, because the one to the left is always going to be bigger than the one to the right. So let's take a look at our numbers here. And really what I want to do is I want to line them up with decimals. Okay, so 42 and 5 tenths or 42.5. Now we immediately get stuck here because take a look at 42. There's no decimal. There's nothing there. So where can we place the decimal? And so that it would stay the same and we could line it up with the decimal. Well, I've got three positions I can put the decimal in. If I put it right there, and I'll draw it out over here. Suddenly my 42 becomes 4200, so that's not going to work. If I put it right there, suddenly my 42 becomes 4 and 2 tenths. Not going to work. If I put it after the ones place, my 42 becomes 42 point, and then there's nothing there. I can add a zero if I want to. So if you ever come across a whole number that does not have a decimal, you need to place a decimal place you can always put it at the end after the ones place and that is not going to change the value after the ones digit so let's put my 42 point right there all right the other two are going to be a little bit easier 42 point and then i've got 63 and then i've got 41 Point one seven two. All right, if I want, right, I could do a little bit of place value chart here. And that might be a little bit helpful because I've got some blanks, and blanks make things a little bit tricky. It's a lot easier to see this if we fill in the blank. So here's my decimal. Right, so let's go ahead and label each of our spots here. So this is the ones place. I'm going to put a one there because that's its value. This is my tens place. I'll put a 10 there. That's my value. Now, right after the decimal place, I have a tenths, THS. So I can list it as 0 0.1. I could also list it as 1 over 10. You can show it both ways. Now, I've only got two numbers that extend to this second place after the decimal, but that's hundredths. So I'm going to put THS right there. So it doesn't spill over too much. That's going to be 0 0.01 or 1 over 100. My final one only has one number. That final one that goes to this spot, this is the thousandths. THS 0 0.001 or 1 over 1,000. All right, so we have our place value chart. We know the value here. My suggestion is when you have them all lined up, everything's written out, you're ready to put them in order. Put zeros in any blanks. You can always put a zero in any blank because it's not worth anything and it does not change the value. There. Now we've got four numbers. They all go from the tens place over to the thousandths place. And we need to find the largest number first. So my largest number, it's not going to be this one. That's going to be my last one. Okay, that's going to be 41.172 because it's a 41. Uh, my largest one's going to be that 42.63, right? That 63 is bigger than the 50 or the 500, 42.5. And then inter interestingly enough, this 42.000 is actually third. Now it's just listed as the 42. So that's what I'm looking at, 42.63. And there we go. It looks like my answer is going to be D.